It's been a long, long fucking time since I have streamed. <coughs> this is the list I'm going to be playing today. It looks pretty similar to some of the Echo lists I've played in the past, but there's some spicy inclusions, which are these two spoils of the vault. The reason they're there is because I've been playing a lot of this list, which is the Rainbow Turbo Doomsday Spoils deck. And it's been a lot of fun, and I've been kind of impressed by Spoils of the Vault. Um, it can draw into Doomsday Piles off of black mana, which can be handy. It can um, make pass a turn piles that can get through a Deafening Silence, which is handy. Um, and can do it with zero cards left in your deck, which is handy. <laughs> Very handy card. It also can just give you a speed boost on in the games where you have like a bunch of mana and you just want to snap off a quick burning wish for empty the horns. Um so it's you know it's a business spell. Um and there have definitely been times where I've spoiled for, you know, Lion's Eye Diamond or even Doomsday or something. Uh so yeah, it definitely definitely has its uses. Uh, and I figured I would just test it out in a more normal list. It's been decent so far. The hardest part, excuse me, the hardest part of a list like this is the mana. Um, I might want to go down to either two, just down to two Cabalrits or swap the third Cabalrit for a Reign of Filth. Um, that's something I'm still kind of trying to figure out. Um, but I want to try, I'm trying the third Cabalrit so that I can more reliably get up to Peer into the Abyss mana, because I want to try Peer into the Abyss in my sideboard. Um, I'm also back to rocking all of the, the full four empty Warrens so that I can bring in empties and spoils for them in matchups where going fast like that is really just your best shot like in Chalice matchups and stuff. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Still got the second Tendrils so that I can bring one in. Um, one thing that's kind of conspicuously missing in terms of like a wish slot is something like a discard spell. I've got the wishable bounce um, as kind of a hedge against any kind of permanent. Um, whether it's a creature, an artifact, or an enchantment, or whatever. But I don't really have a, um, I don't really have an anti-control wish slot, except to like grab the, the draw four, which is fine. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna jump into a league with this, cause fuck the cops. And I think I have the play points. I need to change decks though, because that's not the one I wanted. Uh, oh, I spent such a long fucking time. I haven't gotten to play a lot of Magic lately. Um, grad school's been kicking my little bum. So, but we're gonna we're gonna take this for a spin. I've also got a new. I had to reinstall uh, OBS, so I adjusted my layout and stuff ever so slightly. Um. <laughs> And the new version of OBS has a proper browser source um, module so that I can, I think my chat boxes, my chat and um, alert boxes will be easier to, to work with. So I'll just jump in and I'll try not to, to crash and burn too hard. <laughs> Doesn't look like anyone's on right now. <sighs> I had a Mountain Dew with breakfast too. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. 
I need that shit to kick in. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what this person plays. I lost a die roll. Hmm. This is an interesting hand um, in so far as I think if this, if I were playing the turbo spoils deck, I would snap keep this and just spoils for that, the LED. But in this deck, I think since I'm on the draw, it's gonna be better for me to just mulligan Well, that hand is definitely a little stronger, so I'm going to keep it. Um, and I'm actually going to put back the basic island. This way, like, if they... I don't know what they would do, but... Yeah, so, like, a play like that, I'm probably not going to just fucking yeet this echo. Um... The fact that I have the ideas inbound to put it in my graveyard means that I can potentially use the ideas inbound to try to draw some cards. Um, so I'm just going to do this and I'm going to hold off. If they're playing like Sneak and Show or something, or a Storm deck, I could be put in a tough spot. Um, but, but they're not doing anything. Interesting. So I think I'm just going to cast the Ideas Unbound here. Um, I'm going to grab the other Underground Sea. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, the fact that they're not doing anything is interesting. I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to just jam it here. But that seems pretty loose. The other option is to just pass the turn and discard Echo, Doomsday... Echo Doomsday. Valk, maybe? And then next turn I can, like, Brainstorm, Burning Wish. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pass. I hope I don't get boned here. So I'll discard, definitely going to discard the Echo. I think I'm going to discard the Doomsday. Yeah, and I think the Valk, I think I'm going to do that. This will give me a lot of spells I can cast next turn. Um, <laughs> so casting Brainstorm. This will be let me like double spell next turn, um, so that they'll need two two counter spells to stop me from either burning wishing or echoing. But I still don't really know what they're on, <clears throat> and I'm kind of worried that it's some kind of combo deck. Well, there's a Bayou. Yeah, and there's a Thought Seize. Interesting. I mean, it's not. Does this isn't really going to stop me from from executing on the plan I'd been talking about before? Okay, so they're taking the burning wish, which oh, yeah, looks like this might be some kind of a combo deck. So, I guess I'm not worried about counter magic anymore. I think I probably just need to snap off this echo, and I bet they're going to hold up veil. I probably should have sequenced my spells better. I should have played. The Lotus Petal, like just in case they could do something like a main deck 
fucking nature's claim or some bullshit. I don't know. So I think I'm going to crack the LEDs for mm, blue and blue and black, probably. Um, yeah, I'm going to do both LEDs like this, and then I'll crack oh, flashback echo. I'll leave one blue and two black. That'll give me enough to be able to doomsday if I draw it. And I'm really just hoping they're not playing something really bizarre like Bug Omni and they have counter magic. Or on, you know, they could be on Doomsday or something, maybe Bug Doomsday and have counter magic. Okay. I've got a land drop here. It's looking like I might have to be like hard casting one of these echoes. Um, so that does seem to be my only reasonable line here. I have plenty of mana to actually do it, but but it's not my favorite um, line. I'm gonna crack this. I'm gonna grab the bulk just to make sure I have a red source here. Um, So I still have a good amount of mana floating. I just need to draw something that'll actually help me here. Um, let me think. So if I Burning Wish and grab, yeah, I, so I can win here. So I Burning Wish, grab Doomsday, cast Doomsday, and then I'll win with, um, what the fuck's he called? Thassa's Oracle? I can Street Wraith into Ideas Unbound into Thassa's Oracle. The, the tricky thing here is um, if they are playing some kind of counter magic deck, I don't have the enough mana to cast the Thoughtseize as well. Um, but I think they're pretty clearly just on some kind of Storm deck, so I'm not even going to bother. It looks like they're F6 anyway. So I'll grab Ideas Unbound, Lion's Eye Diamond, Petal, Spoils, Oracle. So I'll Street Wraith into Ideas Unbound, draw those three, and then Spoils into Thassa's Oracle um, to make sure I have zero cards left in my deck. So Oracle on the bottom, then these three, and then that. Cycle that, cast it. I probably should have sequenced this a little differently as well, just in case they had like a main deck surgical extraction or something stupid. Um, make black with that, play that, hold priority. Crack this for blue. And then this thing. Thassa's Oracle. Boom. All right, so I'm going to work under the assumption that they are on Ant. I'm going to bring in the Veil. And... I think against Ant, I probably want... No, I probably just want to do that. So I'm going to cut... Um... What do I want to cut against Ant? I'm thinking I want to cut... I probably want to cut a Kamalrit. Excuse me. That's probably the cut. I'm kind of cold. I need... I'll be back in a sec.
All right, this hand is unplayable. So I suppose if I ripped a black mana source off the top, I could um, snag LED with spoils and wheel into something, but I don't think that's gonna be the play here. So I'm gonna mull. <sighs> I guess I'm gonna keep this. It's um, it ain't perfect, but it's got an easy card to throw back. It does something. It's got protection. Like, it's fine. Um, I guess my big gripe about it is that it's pretty weak to discard. But I'm not gonna go to five. <laughs> So they grabbed Bayou. I'm betting that they have, um, they might have a Veil or something in hand if they grab specifically Bayou. But we'll see what they take because what they take might say a lot. Like if they take the LED, this means this is going to devolve into a Slugfest. They took the Thought Seize though, which kind of screams that like they want to go off um next turn if they can Although with only three cards i mean it's, it's not impossible but it just seems a little tight to me all right the fact that i drew the thought sees again i'm definitely going to thought seize them got a good top deck here interesting i think i'd want to just like, I almost just want to take the Cabal Rit here um, so that they can't really do anything. Because, like, the Veil, Veil's not going to do that much. If I can just win with Doomsday, I think I'm just going to... The other option is to take the Veil now, hope they don't rip something good. I guess even if they drew, like, Infernal Tutor or something, they wouldn't be able to to go off next turn they'd still be a mana short so i'm probably supposed to take the veil and then spin the wheel next turn <laughs> or potentially risk one more turn to try and you know have another land drop in a little bit of extra mana because <clears throat> this deck is just not as good at ending the game uh after an echo as the as the turbo version is. So they just play Bloodstained Mire. Yeah, I mean, who knows what they drew. I'm really, oh. Okay. I'm going to grab Underground Sea here and I'm gonna brainstorm because if I draw a Dark Grit, I'll just end the game. Um, assuming they didn't top deck like a Flusterstorm or something. Give me a Dark Grit. Not a Dark Grit. Okay. Well, that's not the best, not the best, um, hands here either. I'm going to put back both Doomsdays. Um, I think I'm just going to take a risk, take the chance, and I'm going to pass the turn um, here, and I'll just echo next turn. So they didn't draw Brainstorm or anything, which is good. Kind of alarming that they're cracking that now, though. Well, I suppose it probably just means they need a blue mana source, because they found something like that. So as long as they didn't draw exactly like a Dark Rit, I'm probably still okay to get another turn. Um, yeah, because like if they drew Dark Rit last turn and now they ponder into a um, yeah okay, 
Oops, they probably are keeping, they're probably keeping something hidden on top, um, would be my guess. But I'm just gonna, I think I'm supposed to just LED echo right now. I, I could, I could brainstorm and I could see two new cards. And if one of them's a dark grit, I could try to end the game. I guess I could still echo and I'll have a land drop, so I'll still have mana. I think maybe I am supposed to just try and do that. Oop, there's a dark grit. So, all right. I'm gonna have one extra card. I guess I'm, sp yeah, okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing the thing. Hopefully they don't have fluster storm. No fluster storm. So my pile is going to be Thassa's Oracle, two LED, I mean two petals. Um, Street Wraith. I guess it could be another Lotus Petal. That should be good. Yeah, this will let me play around the veil too, if they have a veil, so. Don't think the order is gonna matter much because I'm echoing, but I wanna try to set it up in a way that if they, um, If they somehow stopped this, then they wouldn't be able to, um, like I would still be able to win as quickly as possible is what I'm trying to say. There's the veil, sure. Kind of expected that and that's fine. because oh, I should Street Wraith here so that I've got zero cards left. I'm not gonna cast that because if they have a blue or black spell they can cast, I'll deck myself. Um, it's unlikely they have any real counter spells. So there's the Thassa's Oracle and that's the game. Cool, that went pretty well. <laughs> Gotta walk around, do some fucking calisthenics. Uh, uh, it's been a long time since I've like seriously played any magic, so I'm kind of jittery. Oh yes, hey Ape, I'm glad to see that my um I'm glad to see that my chat box is working though. Cause I couldn't see that. Um I wasn't sure if anyone's there, but good to see uh someone's watching anyway. <laughs> Maybe I should I should just get a standing desk. I think I'd be I think I'd be happier if I had a standing desk. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, like I need it like right here. All right. Found my opponent. I guess I'll sit back down. Uh, well, I'm, this is a turn one, so I'm 100% keeping that. It's too bad I'm on the draw. Um, Scalding Tarn, huh? <laughs> Hopefully they're just going to ponder or something. Casting a Delver, okay. Ooh. Well... Well, 
the the uh, the veil resolved. So I'm just gonna like, fucking let him have it. And I think my Pio will be LED pedal pedal um street race I guess I can fit another LED in huh that'll do it right yeah that'll do it order doesn't matter Flashback the echo. And I'll cycle back as I can. Grab my other LED and fucking unload on them. So the real question here is what colors do I make with these line side diamonds? I definitely need black. And I think make blue. And I'll just leave the other one uncracked. The ideal is to make red, white, and blue. Um, but obviously I need black for this this uh, tendrils of agony. So So yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> Can't ask for much better than that. The old protected turn one. All right, so against Delver, I'm glad they you know showed themselves what they were. Uh, against Delver, I want to bring in all of my empties um, the extra veil. And then I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn about how to sideboard for Delver because with the spoils list, the, the, the turbo spoils list, this is a spoils list now too. Um, with the turbo spoils list, I would actually cut the whole doomsday package. Um, and like I could do that, so you know, just take a minute here. So I'm bringing in these cards. That's four. If I cut the whole Doomsday package, that's six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I include Street Wraith in the Doomsday package, and I probably I want to bring in this extra tendrils against Delver as well. So I would need to make. I would need one more, one more card. Um, if I'm bringing in the whole Doomsday package, you can, I could bring in the Infernal Contract as like another business spell, um, or I could bring in an Abrupt Decay just to kind of hedge my bets against some removal and shit. The other option though is to leave the Doomsday package in and like cut the Echoes. Or you can leave, you can just cut the Thassa's Oracle from in the Street Wraith or something, and like in like maybe one Echo and bring in the empties. I don't know. It's all, it's all a fucking mess. I haven't decided how I want to sideboard against this deck yet. I think what I want to do is, I need to decide, I suppose. Um, you get out of here. I think I'm gonna try cutting the echoes. Um, I need two more cuts. 
Yeah, I don't even know what I want to cut here. It's tough to decide. I guess I'm going to cut the spoils. We'll submit that. The spoils are fine, I think, because you can spoils for empty. Um, but yeah, I still haven't figured out how I want to sideboard with this version of the list. If one of these was an empty, this would be a very strong hand, but it ain't. I'm going to mull. This hand is so sketchy. But I just don't, I don't know if going to five is going to be any better. And like, I'll get two looks when I, with um my draw plus Street Wraith, I'll get two looks at a land. And if I can find a land, this hand is a lot better. I'm going to just keep this. My luck has been good so far, which means, of course, that it's, it's going to continue to be good. And that I'm not going to eat shit right now because I kept this dodgy fucking hand. <laughs> All right, so let's just let's just rip something good here right now. Not that. Let's rip a land. That's almost it. <laughs> I almost want to just like. No, I, th I don't think I can wait. I think I just need to fucking do this. This probably just gets dazed and then I, I fucking lose. Yep. Okay. Well, I knew that was a possibility. Probably at the point now where I just want to, yeah. All right, I'm just going to concede. We'll just go to the next one. I suppose I, I got what I deserved here. Um, I think I want to try the other way. Not that it really matters. Um, I'm going to bring the spoils back. And... Bring those back, and I need to bring in one more card, which I think I'm going to make be that so that I have a business spell if I end up like wishing for a doomsday. I have a card that's not Echo that I can use to draw a Doomsday Pile. And like, there's some risk of me casting that and dying to bolts, but it's no, not really any worse than the risk of me dying to bolts after casting a Doomsday. So, so now I'm like just a normal ass Storm deck. I'm going to keep this hand. Um, it does stuff and it's got protection. It's a little weak to wasteland, but um, I think this is a serviceable keep. And I found more lands and stuff, so I just I don't really I don't really see the point in not keeping this one. Especially if I can get up to threshold. That would be really good. No uh no wasteland. So I'm just gonna play that and pass. I don't know if they have stifles. All right, so I'm going to... Let me think here, actually. Part of me wants... I think I want a brainstorm here. Um, 
Oof. All right, I'm going to put back the ponder. I'm going to put back... What else do I want to put back? Maybe I'm supposed to put back the contract. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I won't quite be able to get the threshold, so yeah, I think I want to put back the contract. And then I'm going to crack this right now. And I think I want to get my basic swamp. So that, because like I'll have the petal to make red. A petal could make veil mana. But I'm kind of just hoping that they don't have um, a wasteland, because that'll put a damper on things for me. Their brainstorming end step. Okay. No wasteland, which is good. They probably are going to play like a Dreadhorde Arcanists. Oof. Oh, that's so fucking bad. I think that's just game over. <laughs> I don't think I can beat that. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother. All right. Well, that's too bad. I was way too far off from, from winning that game. Um, no red mana. No uh, no good ways to get rid of it. No way to protect my... Like, I would have had to... I, I would have had to, like... Fucking... I needed to find red mana. I needed to find and empty the warrens. And I needed them to not have any counter magic for any of that, um, to have a hope of winning that. And the f the fact of life is that probably none of that was going to happen. So I got got, and that's fine. I think this hand is no good. <laughs> like, I'm really tempted to do some bullshit, but I think I need to mulligan this. I'm on the draw again, though, which sucks. All right, I'm going to keep this one. This is a YOLO hand. Um, if I draw black mana source, it gets much better. If I don't, I can just spin the wheel. Um... I actually think I'm going to not play anything. Because then if I if I ever do find black mana, and now I could Thought Seize. And so like because of the Thought Seize, I feel like I'm even more incentivized to hold out for black mana. Um, but maybe I should have just mulled to five. Because this looks like it's another fucking Delvery Duda deck. Collector Oof was a mistake. I don't know if I've ever said that, but it was. The fuck? Okay. Is there more like a Grixis control deck? It would seem. I'd really love to hit some fucking black mana source here. Fuck me. All right, I don't give a shit. Nope, fuck it. I'm doing, I'm holding out. Discard my echo. <laughs> the 
This is not working out the way I'd hoped, I have to say. This is probably going to be a fucking Narset or something. Liliana the Last Hope, okay. I mean, I don't really care about that. What I really care about is finding a freaking black mana source. Okay, well, I'm going to try it. This probably just gets countered. I should cast this too, though, because if... What the flying fuckeroonie is going on in their hand? They just not have counter magic? Oh, well, they have a force of will. Force of negation. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to take that. Alright, so now I can hold priority. Crack this. I play this. And then crack this for blue and I get more mana. And now I'll flashback Echo. I can use black, so I'll leave plenty of blue floating. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get a land drop here. I did. It's sad that I don't have another red mana source. Because if this gets countered, then I'm in a bad spot. That's too bad. I guess I'm just passing. It's very frustrating. I would have loved to have another red mana source. So I think at this point, if I draw a red mana, I'm just casting Doomsday and going to try to make a pass a turn pile because I don't really see a better line. But I need red mana. I guess I could like, I don't know. Actually, now, oh, yeah, now I have enough mana where, like if I draw res, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I guess peers on the table um if i find red mana What are they doing? Red mana. Fine. Okay. I'm just passing again here. Um, Cause I can use the doomsday as a bait spell. But 
goblins aren't going to be great here. So, like, I can't help but feel like they just have a shitload of fucking counter magic stacked up here. They might even just counter this. They didn't. I don't want to play my LEDs out right now because they could have... Um... Colgon's commands or something. So there's force negation, pitching force of will. So how many counter spells can they possibly have? The problem is that this isn't going to be a lethal number. Um, a lethal tendrils. They might just have more counter magic too. Um, and I'm short one mana for peer. If I make goblins, make 16 goblins, on my next turn they'd make two zombies. I hit for 13 at most. And then the next turn they'd make four zombies and I'd hit for like eight. Goblins maybe could get there, but they'll quickly run me over with zombies if they don't. And if they have any like removal spells, I think it would be too, too tight. So one option I could echo, I could attempt an echo or I could, I could attempt a contract, but that's not going to leave me with a lot of mana. Um, I just don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe goblins is the is the way. But if they just K command me here, I'm fucked anyway. So yeah, here it comes. All right, that game did not work out. Um, lots of questionable decisions. <laughs> I think in this matchup, I'm less inclined to bring in the second tendrils. I think I want to cut a Cabal writ. And I think cutting the spoils is fine here. And then maybe cut one echo because they are a blue deck. All right, I can keep this. This can do the old um, double spell trick. So I'm just gonna play the brain or play the land and pass. I'll brainstorm on their end step. Um, no, nope, looks like they've got discard. I don't think I want them to take my LED, so. I'm going to 
my LED or my burning wish really for that matter. I'll brainstorm in response. Oh, wow. All right, this will be interesting. So you pitch another counter spell. I'm not sure what they're gonna take here. Hopefully Echo. But probably the LED is gonna be my guess. Like they can't take the Burning Wish, I don't think, because I bet they don't really have any more counter magic in hand. So I feel like they're forced to take the, um... I think they're forced to take the LED, yeah. Which means that I'm going to probably cast Burning Wish next turn and then Doomsday the next turn. Not a great draw. I even cut one of my Echoes in there. Fucking. So one thing that's kind of awkward is that I had to get the Badlands so that I have three black mana available, but oh, I should have played out my LED. If this is a him, it's not actually that bad. It... Yeah, because it, it's going to put an Echo in the graveyard, at least one Echo. Oh, not at least one Echo. Wow, they hit exactly the best two cards. That's fucking miserable. I was, for some reason, I was thinking that there was no way that it wouldn't hit one of the Echoes, but they hit literally the, the perfect card. Cards. Oops, I accidentally opened up Ardor. That's pretty brutal. If I had played the LED, I mean the pedal out, then it would have hit at least one. So I really need to find a Lion's Eye Diamond or something here. Because they're going to flash back the Duress, which is going to take this Doomsday. Unless they have a Cantrip or something. This is really fucking miserable. Come on, Lion's Eye Diamond. If I don't draw a Lion's Eye Diamond this turn, I'm just going to concede. There's not going to be a point. Not with the active Dread Horde and Brainstorm, I don't think. Yeah, I'm just going to concede. No point. This can't get green, because I don't have a bayou, so. All right, well, that's too bad. That wasn't really how I hoped that would go. I don't think Grixis Control is typically that bad of a matchup, but um, but I definitely, I made a questionable decision of not playing out the pedal. But I think they made a very questionable decision of even casting the hymn because it could put the echoes into my graveyard, which means maybe they had surgical anyway. But this hand's not going to do it. 
it's it's really missing a lot. Um, it needs more black mana to be able to think about hard casting the Doomsdays. And if the Burning Wish can't really do a whole lot, so I'm just going to maul it. Oh my god, that's awful. Alright, I have to keep this. This hand could maybe win on turn 3. Um, if I if my ponder can find black mana and they don't have serious bullshit. Okay, well, I found the black mana I needed. So it's Chalice on 1, which is fine. That's not going to stop my plan since I have the Cabal Rit. The, um, <clears throat> the problem is going to be if they play like a freaking... Um, what the fuck's he called? Karn. So... I, I, these decks typically don't play Wasteland, so let's see. I'm going to need Ideas and Bound, um, Petal, I'll put another blue mana source in there. So they typically don't. These decks typically don't play Wasteland, so I'm not really worried about losing my mana, which means I only need the Petal. So I'm going to put the Street Wraith in so that I can draw the last card if I need to. But if they, if they do play Karn, um, there's a slim possibility they won't be able to just, um, what the fuck's that thing called? Mike Synth lattice me out of the game, the next turn, so I can pass. Excuse me, pass the second turn, and I'll just draw the land that I need. So, we'll be done with that pile. Um, and hopefully, I'll get the extra turn that I need. Just trying to think about the order that I needed it to be in there. So, as long as they don't have any super bullshit here. There are some cards they could have that would be problematic. Um, like that. That's game. All right, so I'll bring in my Abrupt Decays. I cut out my Veils. Um, other than that, I don't think I change anything else. There's an argument for bringing in Empties against this deck, um, but they can pretty quickly cast a Karn and wish for Ratchet Bomb and, and kill all my Goblins or buy enough time with um, Glimmer Posts that they, they can't. Um, or that I can't beat them fast enough and then they can Karn for whatever or like just get some bodies on the board to stop a smaller, an empty that's on the smaller side. So not a huge fan of empty in this matchup. Hmm. I think this hand kind of leaves a lot to be desired. I'm going to mull it. That hand doesn't do anything, so I'm going to mull it. And now I'm kind of on the lookout for an Echo and an LED plan. All right, I can keep this hand. It's not great. It's not the best. But it at least does something. Um, a Thought Not Seer and a Sorcerer's Spyglass. 
to spyglass do? Come on, let me fucking right click on this goddamn card. I know it's like a needle effect, I just can't remember what class of cards it... What the fuck? Okay, well, I mean, it, that card was going to fucking stop me anyway, so... <sighs> I didn't fucking left-click on it, though. Come on. Yeah, that ain't it. So now they're going to get the fucking Thought Not Seer down. And I'm going to need to draw. Oh, wow. Okay. That's probably really good for me because the um the the thought knot was a much bigger concern um so i'm gonna grab that i'll play out my third land cast the doomsday and then next turn I can draw Street Wraith, Street Wraith into Oracle, and then fetch my land, and there'll only be two cards left in the deck. So, as long as they don't have a way to remove Oracle, which is of course possible. Um, Thoughts is Oracle, I need Street Wraith, I need a fetchable land, I'll make it the island, and then I probably need, actually hold on, let's not make it the island. Let's make it a trop so I can put an abrupt decay in and then like maybe another land or something. Or a lotus petal. Let's do lotus petal. Alright. I'll say done and then the trop will go on the bottom. Drop on the bottom, then Petal, then Decay, then Oracle, and then Street Wraith. And I'll pass the turn. <laughs> kind of wild. As long as they don't have a... Actually, they can't even cast a dismember. So at this point, they can't they can't play anything that would disrupt me because of their own Trinisphere. So, step one, cycle, then play that. Fetch out the Trop. Cast the Oracle. Win the game. How's that fucking Trinisphere taste, bitch? Alright. Probably won't win another one, though. Here's the game I mull the five is the one where I beat a Trinisphere. I have to keep this. No buts about it, I don't think. It's looking like a Thought Knot Seer. I'd love to draw a Lotus Petal here. Well, at any rate, now they can't... Let me think about this. This is actually kind of... 
a tight spot. I really need to find a black mana source. I think I need to grab, make this big Falk. I need to ponder, and I'm going to need to play out my LED as well. I got to shuffle that because I need black mana. There it is. All right, so I'll play out the LED so they can't take that from me. I'll pass, and then now if they have the TKS, they can only take one of my Burning Wishes. Oh, there's a black mana source as well. What are they doing for just two mana? Chalice on one, huh? Okay. So Chalice on one definitely slows me down a little bit. Um, huh. There's a lot to think about here. I don't think... I think the play is going to be to Burning Wish for Doomsday and then pass. Build a pass a turn pile. Um, I'm going to fetch the basic island. I don't think they have wastelands that I need to play around. Um, I'm just trying to think about what the play is going to be, or what the pile is going to be. I want to try and be able to beat a Mind Break Trap if they have it. Um... I think I want this to be... Do the Mountain Lotus Petal, put another Underground Sea in, and I definitely need the Thassa's Oracle. Straight Eighth is probably fine. I guess that's the the play, right? So, that's the pile, I mean. Um, I'll put the Lotus Petal on the bottom. And then the C. And then the Oracle. And the Street Wraith, and the Ideas Unbound. Now, if they've got a Chalice on 2, what did I just press? I don't know what I clicked. If they've got a chalice on two, that's a problem and I'm dead. But that doesn't make a chalice on two. Grim Monolith. So this makes a Karn, which I... Oh yeah, no, it makes a chalice on two. So that's game. The old chalice on two. That's unfortunate. <sighs> well, such a good start. Those first three games were very, very strong. Um, and then it didn't pan out. Let's see if I can pick up the 2-3. How much time do I got? This has gone by pretty quick, so... I lost the dice roll again. Was that all five matches? I think it might have been. All right, if I don't pick up the 2-3 here, actually, I think I'm going to play another week with this Turbo Spoils deck, no matter what. Because I hate life, especially mine. This hand is fine, though.
that makes it a lot less fine. I think I'm going to really struggle to beat that. I guess I'll start off with a thought seize. Oh no, I am not starting off with anything actually. I'll just grab a snow covered island. Displacer. Okay. I don't think I can afford to thought seize or anything. I my ability to win this game is basically zero at this point, I think. This hand was not equipped to I'm going to keep this because I can... No, I can't even wish for the the bounce spell because they can just flicker. Can flicker the Thalia. Okay, I'm going to concede. No need for them to see my hand. This is a deck that I do want the empties against. Um, I can cut the veils and cut a couple ponders. I think I'll cut a thought seize. The discard just isn't that great. Like really what I want to be doing is just fucking going fast. Uh, this hand doesn't do that, though. I think I need to maul that. It's just too risky. This hand leaves a lot to be desired as well, because it doesn't have red mana. That hand doesn't do it. That hand don't do it. Well, actually... One, two, three, four. This hand could cast Doomsday on turn two. So I'm going to keep this rather than basically concede the game. I'm going to play out the pedal two. Pass. And the goal here basically is going to be somehow win the game. But this is probably just going to be a Thalia. Yep. So now I need one more mana to be able to pull it off. I can cast this Brainstorm on their end step. Um, although this is probably going to be some bullshit. Sure. That kind of changes things a little bit. Because I actually can't tag the Thalia here with the Decay. Because I like I have an opening to do it. I need to think though. If I grab, so if I actually, if I grab the, trop. Do I decay the Thalia or do I just cast the Doomsday? Is the question. I'll go down to eight. They have five power on the board. I can't pass two turns. I think I need to decay the Thalia and then cast Doomsday next turn. 
and hope that they don't have another threat. Because like even if they have another prison piece, I can potentially go through it. But if they have another threat, it's a problem. I can't win the very next turn, so I need to... I think I need to decay the Thalia here while I have the opening. And then just hope that they don't have anything that's going to stop me from doomsdaying. Okay. That's fine. Well, that was a really rough one. Um, that's not what I wanted to see happen. Let's see. I'll switch decks. Part of me thinks that if you want to be playing... Oh, it's made of motocrasser here. Part of me thinks that if you want to be playing a storm-based doomsday deck right now, one of these fucking turbo spoils decks like is just legitimately the best option you have right now, which kind of is insane. Like it's hard to believe that a deck without ponders or anything, a brainstorm could potentially be the best option but like doomsday storm doomsday variants are not as good as the force of will versions because you can't force of will thalias if you don't have force of will in your deck i actually i do think the storm version is ever so slightly better against delver um Although I didn't obviously didn't put, exactly put on a clinic against Delver in that that um in that that last league, but uh, I do think they have a slight edge against Delver um, on average, but it's not or at least a slight edge against Delver relative to the normal Doomsday list. Um, but the matchups against the rest of the format don't pan out enough to like make it be the better option as we kind of just saw i mean i put up a fight in most of those matches except the the one against grixis where some questionable activities by me and some some powerful luck from them made uh made for a bad time but i'm disappointed because that first that first match was was a very good showing and the first first game of the second match was too but we'll just hope the uh the yeet gods smile upon me now that i'm yeeting again all right let's see if my my dice roll luck is better as well. I did. I won the roll. Things are looking up. All right, what does this hand do? This hand makes goblins or something on turn one. This is a keeper. So the question really is... how to play it out so i could spoils for a lion's eye diamond and just make goblins and that's probably the safe line i could contract on turn one and hope to draw well um and then maybe get more storm but if i cut my life total in half the spoils becomes a substantially worse option i think the safe line is probably to just do this Because, like, if this spoils gets countered, I can still cast the contract. I don't know why that always appears halfway in the dead midpoint between my two screens. Let's hope I don't die. Oh, boy. That's a lot of damage. It's interesting to note that if I had just contracted, I would have drawn the empty. But it's kind of beside the point. Right now, I'm kind of forced into this plan. 
make the goblins. Hope they don't have a counter magic. <laughs> I like to hold my my mouse over the concede button just to save the maximum amount of time possible. Now we just hope they're not on a combo deck. All right. The gods of yeet and luck are smiling upon me. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to change anything. This deck list hasn't changed much. Also, there's one minor change, which is I cut the pass in flames, which was probably my least used wishport slot for peer into the abyss. Um, and in my limited testing with this card, I have never lost once it is resolved. Uh, very hard to lose the game once that card's resolved in a deck like this. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to change anything since I don't know what they're playing. There's an argument for, um, I don't know, doing something, but I think I keep this. This hand's really close. Um, it can make goblins on turn two. Okay, it looks like they're probably on a non-blue deck of some kind. Oh, well, if this is a Thalia or something, I'm just going to concede. They do have Thalia, yeah. All right. This deck is not cut out to beat that, so I'll just concede. And we'll go to game... So, hopefully we can make some magic happen this time. I would like to play first. Yes, this hand is keepable. If they have Leyline... Let me think. I'm just trying to think about what the best little line of action here is going to be. I mean, it's going to depend a little bit on what I draw off this Man of Morphos. Um, I'm going to make a black, black, black off of the Man of Morphos. Because uh, if I draw spoils, I can just win on the spot. Although actually I can, they don't have late lines, so I can, I could do an echo pile and hopefully they don't, um, hopefully they don't really have a mind break trap or something like that. I drew the burning wish, which is pretty good. Let's see. So what's going to be the best line here? I guess I'm supposed to just do the echo pile. Um, so I want to put the oracle in. I want to put in a bunch of lotus petals. Whoops. That's not what I want. So there's going to be one, two, three, four. so I'm going to draw, at least draw either the Burning Wish or the Thassa's Oracle, but best case scenario, I can draw both. And in the best case scenario where the Doomsday is in the, is the last card, I can draw both and cast both in case they do have a Mind Break Trap. So I think this is the play.
No mind break trap. Oh, I did. I got the very best case scenario. Pretty good. The gods of Eden are smiling upon me. I'm going to put all of these lotus petals down just in case they have um, surgical or something. So you play out the Thoughts' Oracle first. If they have a Mind Break Trap, this gets trapped. And then you make them have a second. But you don't need that. All right. Deck's great. Pull up the list I'm playing right now. This is it. Looks pretty standard. By standard, I mean completely insane. I hope I get to cast Peer. It's one of my favorite new cards. Um, definitely glad I, I found one. Here we go. Join it up. <clears throat> hmm. I don't think this one does it. This is an interesting hand because it could make goblins on turn two. Um, if I go gemstone mine pass and then put mocks under or put spoils under a mox cabal writ spoils for led with a second land but i mean i suppose with another free mana it could do something right away I think I'm supposed to mull it, though. I think game one in the blind, I need to look for something that goes on turn one. This doesn't do it either. This is a very interesting hand because... Actually, this is, this is a very interesting hand. If I draw a colored card, this could go on turn one. I think I'm supposed to keep this. So if I draw a card with that I can imprint on Chrome Mox. It has to be red or black. So the echoes are out. Echoes or another land or another um, Chrome Mox. The fourth Chrome Mox would be bad. But I could imprint that card on Chrome Mox spoils for dark red and then make the empty. So I think I need to keep this one. I'll put one of the Chrome Mox in on the bottom. <laughs> Snow-covered swamp, huh? Thought sees me. I mean, I think they're going to take the empty here. <laughs> but this does make my... Makes this hand a lot worse. I wonder what they're on, though. It could be pox, or it could be turbo depths. If they take the spoils... I mean, if no matter what they take, there's a couple draws that could 
put me in a good spot. Actually, probably the worst pull would have been the petal or something, but if I draw the dark red, I can still just make goblins here. An echo, huh? All right, well, I'll just play the gemstone mine. Um, I'm now, let's see, if I draw another colored card next turn, or something that's plus one mana, um, I can make goblins that turn. So it looks like turbo depths. Um, oh, that's kind of rough. I wonder if they'll take the empty or if they're going to take the chrome moxen, though. I mean, either way, it's going to substantially cut into my storm count. Yeah, that's fine. I mean... I'm just going to keep... Because, like, if I draw uh, another Spoils or the LED here... Um, I mean, even, like, Burning Wish for Cabal Therapy. I could Therapy myself and play... And then get the Echo into the Graveyard. It's so, like, I have some draws here that are not meaningless. Although, actually, the Cabal Therapy is interesting. I wonder if they're... Are they actually playing Nick Fit or something? Like, I was thinking Turbo Depths, because snow-colored, black-green, Thoughtseize, but... But I actually have no idea what they're on. Well, this will probably be telling. This makes it look like Nick Fit for sure. Yeah. Nick Fit should be a pretty good matchup. I'm assuming that they're going to... No, they're not flashing it back yet. Interesting. Well, I'm going to play out this Lotus Petal. I don't want to lose it. Um, I think at this point, they're going to be so far ahead on mana and stuff that empty isn't going to do anything. Actually, should I just empty... Making eight goblins is not a lot. Like, I almost feel like holding out for to get use out of that echo is going to be the better play. Hmm. There's an argue was an argument for playing out one of my chrome moxen with the empty under it, just so that I would. I'd have another mana, because then if I drew, like, Dark Red, I could hard cast the Echo. Uh, I'm not going to use Veteran Explorer's ability, because there's nothing for me to get. Kind of alarming that they got blue. If they have a Leovold or something, I'll be in a really bad spot. Uro, okay. I mean, that's not exactly game over. It's a, definitely a good card, but... If I can just fucking draw... Um, an LED or a Spoils here... I will still be in okay shape. They have the Brainstorm, though. Like, they could very well be playing Force of Wills. Um, I don't know what their blue count's like. <laughs> Give me a good card. Well, I'm going to cast it for sure. Black, red. One more time. Black, red. I mean, I guess I'm grabbing Doomsday. I'm passing. I 
And now they're going to escape. Oh, no, maybe they're... What's the plan here? I mean, obviously, they didn't escape that, so they grabbed a the Leopold. So, oh, fuck me. All right, I'm just going to concede. <clears throat> that was pretty pretty rough. That um, that opener was fine, but it didn't pan out because they had the Thoughtseize. I think I'm just supposed to keep this. I don't think I'm supposed to bring in Silence or anything. It's hard to know what their blue count is like and if they might be playing Force of Will. But I think an early empty has a good chance at being just fine against Nick Fit. <laughs> it would have been possible for me to beat the Leovold um, with a Doomsday Pile, but obviously having the therapy there was kind of a kick in the nuts. They didn't have that in their graveyard, right? I might have to go back and look at that. I was pretty sure they flashed it back of the therapy they'd used earlier. That was what they activated Veteran Explorer with, I think. I don't remember. Whatever. I'll just try and fucking blow them away in these two games. Allergies have been kind of fucking with me this summer. I used to never get them. Alright, let's see if we can get a good hand here. This hand is what we in the business call perfectly serviceable. So I'm going to start out by just playing Dark Rit into Doomsday. So if they have Mind Break Trap, um, it won't get trapped. And I'm going to try to concoct a hand here that, I mean a pile that can win regardless of what they do. Or at least has a shot to. And you'll get a you'll get a look at that here. Spoils on the bottom. More I mean Oracle on the bottom, Morphos, Morphos, Morphos. Spoils. I'm gonna play the LED. I'm gonna play the Chrome Mox. I'm gonna imprint this guy under it, and then I'm going to pass. <laughs> so hopefully this is just a discard spell, because if it is, that will do absolutely nothing. It'll do absolutely nothing unless they have the surgical as well, um, which it sure seems like they don't. Oh, no, okay, I thought they were going to fucking draw step surgical me. And now this will get through Mind Break Trap if they have it. Thoss is Oracle. Hopefully no Force of Will. Force of Will is the one thing that I was not going to be able to beat. Okay. Doomsday showing up for work, which is good. What does this hand do? Jack shit. What does this one do? This one feels closer. I think I need to keep this. Um, the real question, though, is... 
Who would I put away? I probably am supposed to put this away. Because this could cast a Doomsday on turn one if um, if they don't hit me with discard. And if they do hit me with discard, it could cast a Doomsday on turn two, depending on what they take. There's lots of dependings. So there's the Thought Seize. I bet they take the Doomsday, since that's the card that got him dead last time. Yeah, they took the Doomsday. Okay. Okay, well. The gods of Yeet are smiling upon me. All hail! <laughs> That's what I was going to spoil this for anyway, so... Fucking Ugh. No mind break chat. Hell yeah. Send them to the fucking shadow realm. All right. Yay. <clears throat> Ooh, it's XJ Cloud. Well, I mean, this hand sure fucking does a thing, so I ain't throwing it back. It's a keeper. cavern on goblin the goblin deck all right well we'll see who's the better goblin deck i hope they're streaming i hope someone i hope someone watches this this incredible fucking horse shit that's about to go down So there's an argument for like spoils for Lotus Petal, um, but I don't think I'm gonna, because I don't think there's a reason to risk dying here. And like I could draw a land to make red or any of my red mana sources in the deck, like that. And this should get me there, I think. I think that'll be lethal. Should have enough mana. <laughs> All right. Hitting that fucking yeet. So, in these kinds of matchups, in my experience, like, empty is not actually that good. This goblin deck can flood the board pretty quick. Um, and, like, if I have kind of a shitty empty hand, sometimes they just get enough goblins on board that it doesn't matter. Um, so I think what I really want to be doing is hedging against... Pyroblasts and Mind Break Traps by bringing in the Silences. <clears throat> and it's, it's maybe it's a questionable plan, I don't know. But I think in a matchup like this, like, it, sh it's, it may, might not even matter. Well, this hand echoes, so I'm probably just supposed to keep it.
It also has a potential backup infernal contract. Um, oh, I wonder if this is going to be a discard spell. Just a lackey. So I kind of expect to get my break trapped here. Um, and I probably just concede if I get trapped here. I don't know what they're waiting for. If they've got something, I'd like to just see it. Maybe they have a surgical and they're trying to decide what the surgical. Yeah, so the surgical lotus petal, interesting. Okay, well, I mean, it's a free mana source, so I can kind of understand that play. I think that there are probably were better things to take, like maybe Burning Wish um, or potentially Lion's Eye Diamond. But but taking away a free mana source is definitely a play, for sure. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I drew more free mana sources. So I think the play for me is going to be to drop my my chrome boxes and then burning wish for um, doomsday since I don't have enough mana to um, kill him I'm gonna have to be on the doomsday plan there are ways that this goes sour um, like obviously a mind break trap does it. Um, surgical would be a little troublesome. Um, not end of the line necessarily, but but definitely a little on the bothersome side. So I'll grab the doomsday. Hope that they can't just fucking really let me have it. Um, we're going to go with the quad morphos pile. Uh, a fucking pyroblast would be a problem as well. Um, but this pile at least has a possibility to win the game, so... <laughs> We'll just try it out. <laughs> Let's see what they lackey up. War Chief, okay. And a War Marshal. So no Pyroblasts, it looks like. Wasteland is a little 
probably not going to kill me, but... So I'm hoping that this will just get the job done here. We just got to hope for the best. Hope for no bullshit. Here it comes. Here it comes. Make that blue blue. Give him the Thassa's Oracle. There it is. Send him to the fucking Shadow Realm. <laughs> All right. Naturally, this fucking shit pile caches the league. <clears throat> Let's just rattle off two more wins real fast. Let's just make it happen. Just the old casual, the casual fucking shit pile shit fest. I know XJ Cloud is a well-known player, but I don't know if they stream or anything. All right, join the match. I was just gonna search Twitch for XJ Cloud now that I'm not, I'm not on there. I'm not play, playing them anymore. Doesn't look like they're streaming right now. I'll keep an eye on Twitter, just in case they tweet about me. I'm really hoping. I want that sweet, sweet verbal abuse about my shitty deck um this hand doesn't do anything right so it's gonna be a mall i won the roll that's good okay so this hand does a thing <laughs> so i'll keep that um i guess the doomsday goes on the bottom make red I'm gonna play the Lion's Eye Diamond right now, because if, if, okay. Red, black. All right, I'm gonna play the Chrome Mox. I'm not gonna imprint anything. I just wanna have an artifact so that my Glimmer Void sticks around in case this wheel whiffs. Um, like whiffs really bad. I drew a Doomsday. I mean, I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna cast a Doomsday, right? I'm just trying to think about. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm supposed to just cast Doomsday. This hand's not the greatest, but we can make it work. So I'll just build the Manamorphose pile um, and hope it's good enough. I'm probably going to play out the one of the chrome mocks in here and imprint the echo. Because that's going to let me... Oops, I can't play it. I need to play this. This is what I'm thinking. It's going to let me make like red blue with my manamorphose and I'll have another blue mana up in case they have some something funky and I won't I won't get cut off of blue um for my oracle. It also means that I can play the right of flame and be able to pay play through a little bit of um like a daze or something. So I, we'll see what they're on. I don't obviously I don't know what they're on. A mountain Seems like a good sign. It says they play a mountain. They hadn't actually played the mountain. 
A chrome mox. Hoping for a chalice. Oh, just nothing? Is it just nothing? Because just nothing's pretty good. Alright. Make some red. <laughs> and I don't have to be quite as careful with the colors I make here because I actually do have blue blue to cast the, the oracle, but for the sake of muscle memory, I'm going to do it right. All right. So in this matchup, this is a definitely a don't change anything matchup. So just submit. I think I'm supposed to keep this. Um, it goes off through Chalice on one. It's a pass a turn pile, but it, it you know it does it does a thing. It does what it's supposed to do. And their hand is kind of oh maybe this is just a Trinisphere. If this is just a Trinisphere, I probably just concede. Magus of the Moon. Magus of the Moon is not such a big deal because oh and okay I'm just gonna concede. The Chalice on zero is a big deal. Magus of the Moon would have been okay because I could still Burning Wish and Echo. Um, but but Magus is annoying. I mean, but, but Chalice is annoying. This hand doesn't do it, so I'm just going to Maul. I think I'm supposed to keep this. Just boils away. See what happens. Nice. I did lose two burning wishes off that, though. That's kind of painful. Well, let's just hope for no mind break trap. Oh no, a pyroblast? Fuck me. Alright. I got got. The old force of will. The old red force of will. Well, the 5 0 dream is dead, but that's okay. No sense wasting any more time trying to win out these matches. This this is what part of why I like this deck is like you can fucking set a land speed record here. You just don't bother to uh, don't bother to play matches where your chance of winning is like less than five percent. In a in a paper tournament or something where there was like a lot of money on the line, I might consider um, I might consider playing out a match like that, especially if like it was the match was going to be over in ten minutes and I didn't have to poop or eat lunch. Um, I would rather just like try and play a little magic then go wander around a convention hall. But paper tournaments don't exist anymore. They never will again. Everyone's going to die from COVID. Fuck the cops. Fuck all of them. That's it. That's my message. All right, here we go. Let's see who we got here. Oh, I already played against this person. What were they playing? Was that last league or was it this league? 
How do I get back to my league? Can I do it from here? Game history. Bitter Fay, Bitter Fay. They were my Grixis control opponent. Okay. Okay. I would like to play first. I'd love to just get an empty hand. Well, this hand empties, so I'll keep it. <laughs> I wouldn't throw this back under normal circumstances anyway. Um, because like, if it makes at least eight goblins, I'm probably probably not going to get, you know, like the average six is not going to be substantially better than this uh, in the first place. So anyway, we'll just we'll just do it. We'll just see what happens. Worst case scenario, I fucking lose, right? Alrighty. Cycle that Street Wraith. Noise. That was a good a good draw. Let's just hope for no counter spells. <laughs> Ten little gobos. Uh, uh, uh. Hopefully that'll do the trick. Yield through this turn. Assuming they're playing the same deck, which it kind of seems like, they don't have a ton of ways to beat this many goblins. So yeah, they just wanted to see what I was playing because it looked different from last time. All right, so against these kinds of decks, my game plan usually is to cut all of my Doomsday cards and bring in the four silences and then one extra business spell. And what that extra business spell is depends a little bit on the matchup. Excuse me, against Delver, I like to bring in the Infernal Tutor because it lets me go and grab empty. Against um, decks like this though, I usually like to bring in the draw four because their clocks are pretty anemic and they have, like we saw last time, they had him. And so it gives you kind of a way to potentially recover a little bit of, excuse me, ugh, lost card advantage. There's some reasoning for bringing in the Cabal Therapy, but I kind of feel like, like I cut three business spells when I cut the Doomsdays. And so I don't want to cut too many business spells. So I'd rather bring in the extra business spell than Cabal Therapy. And against these blue decks, you can also kind of try to, like, just throw Haymakers at them until they submit. So. Yeah. <sighs> So my ideal hand here will just make goblins again, probably, um, since that could be very tough for them to stop. But a hand with silence and an echo would also be good, or any kind of super busted hand with silence is pretty reasonable.
this hand's not really going to do it for me. Um, it would need a lot. It's like it's not impossible that I could make goblins on turn one or something. Um, but I think I'm going to be better off just mulling rather than keeping a super risky hand like that. This hand, on the other hand, does a thing. So I'm going to keep it. And I think what I want to do is I think I actually want to put the Morphos on the bottom. They're probably going to start with Discard Spell. Engineered Explosives on zero. Well, I guess I'm glad I didn't pick Goblins here. And they're not doing anything, which definitely sounds like a counter spell, probably a fluster storm or something. Play that. I'll play out the LED. There's a chance that they just counter that. Okay, yeah, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna fucking counter that. All right, so I guess the pl game plan here, since I'm one mana short of Pier, um, the game plan is just going to be Echo, since obviously, um, obvi uh, excuse me, obviously the empty is off the table. This probably just gets countered though, and I probably just concede. Um, I might not concede right away because if they like if they don't pop the engineered explosives for some reason, I get to keep my um, my LEDs. I could maybe draw another spell that matters, but but yeah, there's not there's there's little incentive for them to not pop the engineered explosives because I lose my glimmer void as well. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean I don't I don't think I really have another option here besides the Echo, um, I'm pretty confident that they have a counterspell of some kind. Um, I'm playing this out so that if they counter me, I don't lose my, my Glimmer Void. Actually, I mean, no, they would still be able to crack the Engineer Explosives, so there's no, re there's no reason to do that. Um, I'll make blue, I'll make red. And this Echo probably just gets countered, and I probably just concede. Because we're going for the land speed record. This does be a spell pierce. Um, if that's the only thing they've got. But they had the Fluster Storm. So, here we go. Here we Come on. Come on, bitch. We'll just concede. No need to play it out. And we'll hope for something better next time. All right, I would like to play first. Hmm. I think I'm supposed to keep this hand. The one thing I'm not sure is if I should silence. I probably should. So like I could go Chrome Box, Imprint, Cabal Rit, Gemstone Mine, Silence, and then Echo, I mean then Bargain. I think that has to be the play, just because I don't think I can afford to get my bargain countered here. It's not, this isn't a great hand. If I hit an echo, it gets a lot better. I mean, if I hit an LED off this draw four, it gets a hell of a lot better. Um, and obviously, like, there are some combinations of cards, like if I could hit Petal, petal, dark rit, empty or something. Okay, so they just force, force the silence. Pitching Kess. If they have double force, they'll be in a bad spot. But I mean, I'd still be able to draw an LED. Just draw LED off the top. Um. Huh. 
this changes things a little bit. I think I'm going to cast this LED and then just pass. And that way I can hold up the silence again for next turn. Or hold on to silence for next turn, I mean. Um, since I can't cast it right now, my first silence didn't resolve. There's some ways this goes bad, like if they have a Thoughtseize or something. Um, but I'm kind of just hoping it doesn't. It doesn't look like it's that's happening right now. So. <clears throat> so I'll play the Glimmer Void. I'll silence. Um, and then I'll echo. And I'll just hope for the best. <laughs> This looks like it's getting another uh, counter spell, probably. <laughs> oh, just a brainstorm. Interesting. Maybe they got nothing. <laughs> Let's see if it resolves. I wonder if they found like a surgical or something and they're thinking about using it. I mean, the surgical and dark rope be pretty reasonable here. Or they maybe they have two counter spells and they're trying to decide if if they want to. You know, they're trying to decide between force of will and force of negation or something. Okay, so it was a surgical. Surgical and dark grit is is a good is is reasonable for them here. Um, it's obviously it's not game over for me. Um, got a lot of ways I can win without a dark grit. Now let's see if this silence resolves. Another surgical. Wait, what happened? Did they not take the... They must have not taken the... Dark Rit the first time. Yeah. Not the one in my graveyard. Will Silence Resolve. There, okay. So, things are looking pretty good. I just need to not hit complete garbage. Which... It kind of looks like I did. That sucks. What's in my sideboard? So this is only going to make four mana. And I only have five mana. Which means that I can't even empty. Um, That's so fucking brutal. Oh my god, that's so brutal. Six, seven, eight. What the fuck? Oh my god. Fucking Moto crashing on me. That's like one mana, one mana away from uh, from being able to kill him here. I'm trying to think of what what the right play is going to be. So 
So if I make my five mana, Burning Wish will leave me with three. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not like I can Grape Shot plus Chain Lightning or something. This is very, very frustrating. I could Burning Wish for Cabal Therapy. Super frustrating. I could Burning Wish for Cabal Therapy, and then next turn, if I draw mana, I could maybe Cabal Therapy myself to put Echo into the yard and Echo again. Ugh. I could Burning Wish for Doomsday. I could cast a Doomsday next turn. And then I'd have Silence plus. Oh, no, but even then I would still be, I'd still need mana. I can Burning Wish for empty and then just pass the turn. And hope they don't have. The fucking. Um, the fuck's it called? Engineered explosives are a way to get rid of a kind of meager number of goblins. I think that's. I think that's the play here. Um, Because I just don't really have a better one. Unfortunately. And then I just pass a turn. There's another somewhat interesting option, which is pass another turn, put the echo in the graveyard, and hope I can echo off with silence protection. Um, not casting anything like if I could draw more mana here I can potentially empty and like that was an okay draw all right well I mean I'm gonna do do my thing here cast the silence they brainstorming okay This is a pretty interesting spot. Another brainstorm. We're almost up to uh, lethal tendrils. We're pretty close to that. The silence resolved. If I draw mana off of this more and more bit, 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 mana morphos. Make black black. A land. That's it. That's the fucking game. Holy shit. Because they double surgical themselves. They're at a super low life total. Wowee. All right. That's another opponent to the Shadow Realm. And that's uh that's a four one. That's a four one with the fucking shit pile deck. Not bad, not bad. Uh <laughs> all right. Well, I'm definitely gonna call it quits there. That was um that was really something. What's the price on chests these days? Go bots, EV, calculator. Just because, like, I think I could probably sell those chests and get another league out of it. 
rather than um, I know I know the um the EV on selling chests is probably higher. Anyway, awesome. All right. Well, that was cool. Got the old four one. Thanks for watching. It was so close to a five oh two. I uh if they hadn't had the old Spirit Guide plus Pyroblast Force of Will combination, it might have been a little different, but that's the game I guess. Um all right, cool, thanks for watching. If you were I think Ape was gone, and Ape might have been the only one. But anyway, if you watch this on YouTube later, thanks for watching then, too. Remember. Black Lives Matter, fuck the cops.